welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus as it is the 24th of March 2023. I'm Nikhil Shini and these are the headlines. Binance suspends withdrawals and spot trading. Do Kwon arrested and faces fraud charges. Arbitrum airdrop release sees tremendous outcome. El Salvador presidents to eliminate taxes on tech. And Imoka Brands cuts target for new fund again. Antara Crypto King kidnapped and tortured. Events packed for the month of March and more to come. Now the market rates today, Oyeko, my correspondent, has more. Welcome to the market rates today. I am Oyeko Slash Ongolano. On the market rate today, Bitcoin is at $27,900. Ethereum is at $1,700. BNB is at $323. Solana is at $21. And the dollar to narrow rate at $743. Now let's get you updated on Crypto Weekly News. First up, Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, has temporarily suspended all spot trading, deposits, and withdrawals, citing an issue that it's working to resolve. Initial analysis indicates Machin Engine encountered a bug on a trailing stop order, Binance founder and chief executive Cheng Peng Zhao said in a tweet adding that the firm expects things to recover within two hours. Binance commands over 60% of all crypto spot volume. It has also increased its market share of Bitcoin spot volume to over 90% in recent quarters. Next up, Terraform Labs CEO Do Kwon has been charged with fraud by United States prosecutors in New York just hours after he was reportedly arrested in Montenegro. In a court filing signed by United States attorney Damian Williams, the 31-year-old entrepreneur has been charged with eight separate counts, including commodities fraud, securities fraud, wire fraud, and conspiracy to defraud and engage in market manipulation. Under the first charge, conspiracy to defraud, the U.S. prosecutors claim to have jurisdiction over Kwan because he made a series of false and misleading statements during a TV interview that was transmitted to, among other places, the Southern District of New York about the extent to which the Terra blockchain had been adopted by users. The remaining four charges are related to a series of purportedly misleading statements that the effectiveness of the Terra Classic USD stablecoin USTC to keep its peg with the US dollar, as well as Quan's alleged involvement in trading strategies that were designed to alter the market price of USTC. Meanwhile, as the hype surrounding the Arbitrum ARB airdrop continues, on-chain activity shows that airdrop hunters consolidated tokens worth around $3.3 million collectively from 1,496 wallets into two wallets. According to the blockchain analysis platform Look On Chain, one wallet received 1.4 million ARB from 866 addresses. The account then added all the ARB received to the decentralized exchange Uniswap to provide liquidity. The 1.4 million ARB tokens are worth around $2 million. On the other hand, another wallet received 933,375 ARB from 630 addresses worth around $1.38 million. Moving on, El Salvador's President Nayib Bukele said earlier in a tweet that he will send to the country's Congress next week on technology innovations as well as computing on communications hardware manufacturing. The Salvadoran leader is eager to make the Central American country a cryptocurrency hub, adopting Bitcoin as legal tender in 2021 and unveiling plans to create the world's first Bitcoin city. More interesting news as Hong Kong's base blockchain gaming developer and Mocha Brands has cut its target for its so-called metaverse fund by 20% to $800 million. And Mocha Brands said in November that it was working on a new Mocha capital fund with a target of $2 billion, but then halved that target in January to $1 billion. Recently, it has trimmed the target by 20% to $800 million. To close off the news today, Ontario's self-described crypto king was abducted, tortured, and beaten for days as his kidnappers looked to solicit millions in ransom, his father told the court in December. New documents obtained include details of the December incident where Aidan Platerski was allegedly abducted from downtown Toronto and driven around southern Ontario for about three days. 
the nearly 750 page report released on the 14th of March also contains the latest findings in a month long pursuit to trace millions of dollars invested into cryptocurrency and foreign exchange with a 23 year old before he was petitioned into bankruptcy. The documents allege Platerski invested less than 2% of the more than $40 million handed to him. Instead, he allegedly spent nearly 38%, almost $16 million on luxury cars, private jets, and elaborate vacations. Aiden ran a business in which he told people he would invest their money, and that's not what happened. Rob Stelzer, appointed bankruptcy trustee on the case, reported. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. Also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter at Crypto TV Plus and on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily info on our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Oshini and I'll see you next time.